the CLG edition. Yeah, wow, Void running the uh, Mewtwo gauntlet, it seems. Uh, fresh off that 3-1 win over Wadi, and that was a very, very decisive 3-1, honestly. You know, even though Wadi was able to take that game three, it was <laughs> pretty much mostly Void's game. So let's see if uh, Void can do it again to a, uh, another Mewtwo player. Let's see what's going to happen. We're going to start off on Battlefield here with Sheik versus Mewtwo. And Void immediately going right behind Abadango, trying to assert his dominance. He wants to maintain this lead. Oh, and here comes Abadango. He's trying to find his way out of the side of Void's combos. Here's his opportunity to start putting on some damage himself. That down tilt, so much range. Void's going to have to respect it because it leads to a lot of follow-ups from Mewtwo. Absolutely. That really is the name of the game in this match. I feel like respect. If you know, if you make one mistake or overextend yourself a little bit too much, both these characters have such strong kill options. Uh, to, you know, to punish things. You gotta be super careful with the yep, way. Uh, we see the downsides already coming out now. Oh, not going deep. He gets split still for his troubles. Yeah, honest, honestly, that was like a really scary situation to be in. Abadango just chasing Void off stage like that from a bouncing fish almost makes you wonder if Void should go for that again while Abadango's at the edge. You're definitely going to see some teleports from Abadango with Mewtwo here on this stage. Edge cancel teleports, that is. And wow, Void being so aggressive off stage, just like you saw him be against Wadi. <gasps> no, I thought the dash up smash was coming, but it looked like he maybe got a misinput with that dash attack. Yep. Nice right, right there by Abadango. Immediately cutting off his elevation with the Shadow Ball charge. But that's going to be a KO. Yes, sir. Yeah, even on Battlefield, man, that attack is so powerful. <laughs> uh oh. Speaking of powerful attacks, that Shadow Ball definitely racks up good damage. Fortunately, for. Whoa. A graze right there on the back air, if I'm not mistaken. What was. Void Wood was definitely doing a good job uh, maintaining the lead. Oh, okay, manages to get that deep bouncing fish. Uh, but I was going to say, I thought Abinago was actually about to thread the needle. Yeah. Keeps himself in there. And Void at low percent, man. I feel like it's one of the scariest people to play against. Uh, this man knows all. It has so many custom combos. Once again, going for that footstool. All right, yo, gets the second hit of Vanish, helping him get back on the stage safely, you know, even though he landed on the stage. And that's, man, just like Wadi, uh, Abdongo taking advantage of those uh, out-of-shield nares. Uh, covers so much space, and generally, if you use space correctly, you're, you're, for the most part, safe. Okay. Trade not too bad for him. Still fighting from behind. Air dodge. Oh, actually, there's a pawn landing. It's crazy. Yeah, he's not afraid to do it. Uh, uh, even though this is a very, again, a very scary situation for both these characters. That air dodge will come out in time. Abdago knows that grab here will end the game. We might even just see an up smash of Void Shore Hops again. Uh, shout outs to Falling Forward Air, man. Still playing itself, trying to keep safe control, but he wants this grab. You can kind of tell. Uh oh. Here, dodge. Boy's digging deep. Oh, okay. and once again, reading that air dodge in the same fashion he read Wadi's not too long ago. There it is. Sneaky stuff right there by Void, but he manages to catch Abadango before he puts his feet on the top platform. And a rare show of emotion from Void. You saw him with the fist high in the air and the smile. I haven't seen Void smile in four years now. No, because he definitely... <laughs> have you known Void for four years? That's exactly how long it's been <laughs> since I've seen him smile. <laughs> Speaking of four, Void is definitely known as that player that takes a, a wow. lot of fourth place finishes. Oh my goodness. But he's I mean, definitely going to try his best to see if he can break the curse here in this tournament. Facing off against Abadango is definitely going to be one of those hurdles. Um... Tour, you know that he's gonna have to overcome before he even gets into the top eight. Yeah, for the most part, though, I, I feel like even though Void does, you know, like you said, get fourth place very often, that's it's not bad to be consistent in this game because we've seen some players get first at big major events and then bust around at thirty third. Yeah, or even like sixty fifth. Anyway, ninth. <laughs> so here we go, <laughs> so ladies. <anyway>. And gentlemen. <laughs> here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Straight to game two. Abadago trying to control the ground really well with his tilts, sharking Void from below with a platform. 
Yeah, Salvadano probably looking for a rising back air. At uh, sub 30% though, you will not get stage spikes. Whoa! Oh, wow. But it's weak. Oh, I thought, I thought he was going to get the twofer. <laughs> that would have been amazing. But, you know, even though he doesn't, he still has a good stage position right now and great damage on Void. Yes. Definitely did put on a lot of damage. Shout out to Sheik's great vertical recovery, though. Just great recovery in general. <laughs> All around. Oh, yeah. She's similar to Bayonetta, man. As long as she has her jump, she's almost always going to make it back to the stage. Oh, yeah. Well, Vanish is pretty crazy, man. Might as well be a second jump before Vanish even starts. Can we talk about Bouncing Fish? Yeah, let's talk about that, too. <laughs> What a battle right here. Void trying to keep Abadango out. Left himself open with that down air, though. Yeah, Void with the stage control, but Abadango is going to take it back with that back throw off stage. See how Void manages to come back on stage. Oh, Abadango missing the normal get up punish. I don't think an up throw here will do it, but uh, maybe a little bit more damage, and then the up throw might be enough. Nice. So now, yeah, now it's going to be enough. Abadango probably going to look for a grab. I was just waiting for Void to hit a shield with something, but Void does not bite. Nice wait by Void too. Abadango not even air dodging. Missing the edge cancel on the port. Yeah, that's there it is. He's like, let me practice a little bit. All right, I got it. <laughs> He's like, all right, back in there. <laughs> a little bit of training mode in the middle of the match. Uh, yeah, but it's really unfortunate. Missing an edge cancel really leaves you open for quite a bit. Ah, oh, misses the uh, the pivot grab in that situation. Oh, nice read by Void there. Yeah, there's only so many places you can you can land an edge cancel, so Void, uh, worst case scenario, if you miss, you're still in a safe position. Yes. Void has done a great job of bringing this one back, but still within up throw range. And remember the last game, actually, oh, Abadango almost got caught by Void's setup there, waiting for the double jump. And once again, missing his edge cancel, can get a punch again. There it is, that's the stock for sure. Nice stop there by Void. And in the first game, he dropped the stock earlier to an up smash, but now, it's looking good. That's pretty unfortunate because he rose from the edge and did a neutral air. And against most other characters, that would actually catch whatever thing, you know, whatever rising attack they would do. But uh, Sheik's up air is just, <laughs> just so fast, and and the hitbox is so far away from their actual hurtbox. Yep. And right now, we're, uh, it took almost nearly three minutes for that first lock to go. That's how intense things are between both of these players. Good combos right there by Void. Deciding to fade back just to control the stage and catch Abadango's recovery. Ooh, sneak! That would be, well, uh, the reason I like that option too is because if Abadango went for a down tilt, he would have hopped over anyway. Yeah, boy, wow, we're putting himself in a scary situation. Yeah. Can't get too antsy. Abadango's definitely a scary beast. I think, I think using Bouncy Fish to recover and, uh, you know, press your opponent off stage or to returning to stage uh, is, you know, a thing that cheat players should be doing very often, but can be very, very scary to put yourself in that situation after the bounce. Look, these edge cancels finally on deck. That trading mode helped them out. Almost, but those air dodges, man. So good with me too. Oh, that's a punish. Going for the down smash. Down smash, pretty good option. Yeah, we have to see uh, Abdango uh, air dodging to the ground. Oh, Wood actually getting knocked. Uh-oh. Trouble right here. Abdango is trying to control stage. Is he going to wait for an air dodge? This is the scary situation right here for Void. Put in a lot of work just to get the uh, lead percentage-wise. Nice by Abadago. Okay, and we didn't see the up air this time from yeah, Void, huh? That's weird. It looked like he, uh, he was in the exact same position as the first stock. Yeah. Oh, wow! Trying to read the roll back on the stage. Doesn't get punished, though. Very lucky. Jab from Sheik. Don't see that one very often, but as its use is. And how <laughs> that up tilt almost sending you to off the top. F tilt. For sure. Yeah, Battlefield probably saving him in that situation. Oh, Abadango looks like he's hungry. He just wants that grab, man. He knows that a grab will end the game. As well as another four air off the stage as Abadango takes game at number two. <laughs> Look at Void. He's like, all right, I respect that. Like, you got it. You got it. That was cool. <laughs> man. So he masked his fair approach with the Shadow Ball. <laughs> It's like, yeah. It, it's scary because, you know, obviously you can't get hit by a Shadow Ball, but even just dodging that puts you in a very, very bad situation against Mewtwo, who can control airspace so well. Whew. So All let's right. see, what is the counterpick from Void? It's back to Smashville. Yep, very small, uh, very strong Sheik stage. Let's go. 
Game okay, at number three. Back at it. Good patience right there by Void, waiting to see the response from Abadango after getting that damage. And I like that Shadow Ball from Abadango actually kept Void in shield, allowing him to lead in with a Nair. It's trouble though. Oh, on the pla platform, gonna get that bouncy fish off where, you know, it's not gonna send him to the blast zone, but still put him in a bad position with a ton of damage. Clean play so far from Void. Nice swap. Well, I'm gonna try and drag him down with that Nair and puts himself in a very bad situation and loses the stock because of it. And if you notice, Void didn't have to charge anything because he's already got fully charged needles, which can work out with closing a stock or possibly just getting some damage in the middle, in the early or mid game. Now, Dango's gonna have to turn on, uh, turn up to maximum here if he wants to close out the stock before, uh, you know, getting any significant amount of damage. Mewtwo's a very light, light character, so can't take too much damage after being down. Sooner or later, that neutral is definitely gonna shield stab. So right now, Void trying to throw the hands, forcing Abadango to get off of his back. He doesn't want to get shield stabbed. Yeah, I wonder if Void being a little bit more aggressive than usual, knowing that he's up a stock. And look how much damage he's taken in such a small amount of time. It's a lot more than what we usually see. But still, oh, he just wanted to go for the grab and instead. I respect it. Yep. Safe. Yeah, grab here would help out Abadango quite a bit because he ended that stock at only 58%. Right now, Void is actually trying to move like a ninja right outside of Abadango's range. Really hard for Abadango to catch him. Oh, he just saw it crouching underneath that falling corridor from Mewtwo save him from getting hit. Players just dancing around the edge of the stage. <laughs> Absolutely. Definitely trying his best to just not get hit, boys. Same with Abadango. Abadango just on the chase. He is playing from behind. Oh, that's a stock. Yeah, that is going to be the stock. <laughs> and Void taking a very strong game at number three. Yep. Very unfortunate right there for Abadango. Um, such a great, such great play in game one and two. It looked like it was back and forth between them, but that stage spike definitely put everything in Void's favor. Yeah, I mean that's that's gotta be the worst because he knows he's probably he's probably really well aware that all these matches have been very very close, and then something like that happens it's, and it's so close it's gonna be impossible to bring it back. Mm -hmm. And a big shout out to the guys who are part of Void's old crew game set match GSM in Hawaii cheering on their boy. Three, two, I did not know what that stood for. It's, uh, that's good to know. Thanks, dude. <laughs> no worries, man. <laughs> Alright, so game at number four is going to be on Dreamland. This is Aladano's counterpick. Great stage for both characters, honestly, but probably just a comfortability pick for him. Oh, <laughs> the Mewtwo Mew Jab going to push him off stage. Alright. That was the same situation he found himself in, the, in uh, game number three that got him a really early death. Oh. Well, right now, it looks like Abadango is doing a pretty good job of just trying to maintain the lead, right? You see the down tilt pressure is coming out way more often. Shadow Balls coming out freely. Void's going to have to close the distance in order to discourage the Shadow Ball usage. And right now, pushing him out of the stage. Let's see what Abadango is going to... How is he going to deal with this pressure? Man, that we've seen that situation happen so many times. Abadango rising to the edge of the neutral air. Uh, Void a little bit too slow with the upper that time, but... Not too slow with that up air as he takes the first stop. Yeah, that definitely helped him out so much. And now we have Abadango again playing from behind. Oh, what were you saying, D1? Nope, uh, uh, I guess, still playing right, from behind, yeah, buddy. All right. Oh, what were you saying, D1? Uh, well, looks like everything's tied up. <laughs> <laughs> what stock a piece, zip, zip. Uh, but this could potentially be Abadango's last stock of this tournament unless he's able to take this game over Void and run it back in game five. What were you saying, DC? <laughs> Let's go. It's all good though. Void once again starting off very strong at low percents. Definitely not gonna count my chickens before they hatch though because Abadango has made comebacks against Void before. I think, it, uh -huh. I think in this day and age it's pretty safe bet to count your chickens uh, before they hatch, especially with Void being up by almost 88%. We'll see. Uh, Are we gonna, gonna have to make something happen here because Mewtwo is already far past kill percent and Void, uh, no stranger to being in this position and taking games. So that neutral is definitely one thing that I feel like can help Abadango make a comeback, right? Um, it, 
I haven't seen anybody go for the infinite consistently, but I do know Abadango is able to get the neutral air, so Footstool disable at least. Yeah, I mean, it's... <laughs> you can tell he's very, he's picking and choosing his um, his openings very, very carefully. You see him floating around edge casting very often. Yep, this will, of course, with uh, him being at some type of sand, that's a wow, KO! Wow, the double roll gets wow. him punished into the classic she kill confirmed void finally does it he overcomes his demon congratulations to him Congr uh illuminating abadango who just got picked up by luminosity great job to abadango but that is a top eight yeah he could qualify into top eight wow great great play so happy. from void he's, he's finally able to do it but like i said man he ran the mewtwo gauntlet he did uh taking out wadi now taking out abadango i'm sure it's i'm sure he played like rich brown earlier or something all right, well, that was a great set by two players. Um, uh, another 3-1 from Void. Maybe he just figured something out about Mewtwo. Yeah.